an interesting point in suicide prevention in our country. We're talking about it like we never have before. It's on the nightly news, there's hearings on Capitol Hill, and yet we're continuing to lose more than 47,000 Americans every year. And we know 10 million people are thinking about suicide every year. Our efforts are not yet reducing the suicide rate, and so we really are starting to think about how do we go beyond awareness and get to effective suicide prevention. Suicide doesn't discriminate, it really impacts all of us, whether we're someone who struggles with suicide thoughts, whether we're helping someone through those thoughts, or whether we're helping someone who has survived the suicide of someone, it really impacts all of us. So what we're really working on is, how do we reconnect the head to the body? How do we think about the brain from an organ standpoint, and how do we think about the relationship of the brain to the rest of the body. And so we are approaching it in a very holistic way, but also very consistent with how we think about uh, integrated care. There are a number of very promising solutions. There are clearly promising solutions in terms of the clinical sector screening on a routine basis for risk of suicide and then appropriately channeling people into specialized services. I think also this awareness that people are at elevated risk if they experienced trauma in childhood or as an adult, we should develop trauma-informed institutions, schools and healthcare facilities and workplaces. I think one of the most promising solutions has to do with taking tools that are usually involved in in-person interactions and making them available online so that people who don't want to come in and see a therapist one-to-one -one can access some of those solutions and care online from their home whatever time of day that they're available. Suicide is the tenth leading cause of death in the nation. It's an urgent problem. It is a crisis across the nation. When you look at the statistics, they're startling. As a nation, we must take action now. So we're here to lift up the best ideas. We focused this day particularly on solutions, on policy solutions, on care delivery solutions, on community solutions, very intentionally, because we think there are solutions out there. We hope that out of this day, like-minded people like all of us can link arms to get to work on this.